In this video, I'm going to discuss and walk through tuning a Creo parametric client machine for windshield performance. The first step is to determine what operating system, platform, and Internet Explorer release is in use. Select Start, Control Panel, System and Security, System. Note what operating system, as well as what system type is in use. In this case, it's 64-bit. Next, open Internet Explorer, select Help, About Internet Explorer, and note the Internet Explorer release. Scroll down in 23960, take a look at the OS 32 or 64 bit, as well as the installed Internet Explorer release table uh, to determine the Windows browser type value. In this case, I'm using Creo 4.0, a uh, 64 bit operating system, Internet Explorer 11. And so my options are to either use the Creo Chromium browser or IE browser. In this case, I'm going to use IE underscore browser as it is the out-of-the-box value. In Creo, I'll select File, Options, Configuration Editor, Add, type in Windows underscore browser underscore type, and select the, the browser I would like to use. In this case, again, I'm going to use the out-of-the-box IE underscore browser value. Select OK. We're going to again select Add, Type in dm underscore network underscore threads and select a value of 6. I also potentially want to set dm underscore http underscore compression underscore level, but we need to determine the latency to the windshield server before that's done. We'll open a, a command prompt, type ping space the windshield host name and select enter. It'll give a summary of the latency to the server. In this case, my latency is less than one millisecond. So I'm not going to want to set DM underscore HTTP underscore compression underscore level. If my latency, however, was above 50, I could type that config option in and give a value anywhere ranging from three to nine. Again, in this case, I have a low latency, so I'm not going to want to set this config option. I'll select OK to save my changes to DM network threads and Windows browser type. I'm going to choose a config file in my start in directory. At this point, we want to also take a look at file, options, notification center, and take a look to see if the outdated PDM option is enabled. In this case, I'm using Creo 4.0, and I don't see the outdated PDM option available. So I'll go ahead and select OK. If, however, I was using Creo 3.0, I would, in fact, go in and deselect that. OK, back to the article. We'll take a look at step number five, add the Windows registry entries per the following step. We're going to go ahead and download a registry file, save it to my desktop. I'm then going to consult with a network or systems administrator, make a backup of my machine, or create a Windows restore point. And then I'm going to rename that file and double click that file to enter those options. Here I am double clicking the file. I get a confirmation that I can add those entries to the Windows registry and select OK. At that point, I'll want to restart the client machine and restart Creo.